While many vacationing in the Bahamas may prefer to sleep in, the day begins bright and early for the caretakers at Dolphin Key. From feedings and playtime to daily checkups, these dedicated specialists make the marine life at Dolphin Key their highest priority. Dolphin Key is a world-class marine mammal habitat that is dedicated to education and conservation and also home to the Hurricane Katrina survivors. Back in 2005, Hurricane Katrina completely destroyed the Marine Life Oceanarium in Gulfport, Mississippi, orphaning essentially 17 bottlenose dolphins. Eight of those 17 were washed out during a search and had to be found and rescued and then were reunited with the rest of their dolphin family. And the reunion happened here at the Atlantis. We couldn't wait to meet Dolphin Key's other incredible marine life. Atlantis has over 165 full-time marine life specialists taking care of rescued marine life every day of the year. And today we're at Dolphin Key and we're gonna check out the sea lions. Are you ready to make this happen? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go. Before participating in the Sun Up with Sea Lions experience, we met up with Dolphin Key's marine mammal specialist, John Madigan, for a special behind the scenes tour. All right, welcome guys. I want to show you real quick our veterinary care center, our laboratory right here. Last year alone, we brought in over 50 animals to our uh, animal care and rescue center, and we were able to rehabilitate them, and we had almost a 90% success rate with all of our rehabilitation Aww. and releases. I love that. That's a, that's a great thing that you guys are doing. And we're gonna meet one of those uh, animals, right, that were rescued? We are gonna meet one of the animals. Yes, her name is Sunshine. She is uh, very much one of the rock stars of our population here. She's one of the animals that loves the camera and loves the attention and loves hanging out with people. <laughs> All right, should we go meet her then? Let's go meet her. All right, let's go. After our tour of the lab, we couldn't wait to meet the guest of honor. All right, guys, so let me introduce you here to Sunshine. <laughs> she is a 17-year-old California Gosh. sea lion. Remember, one thing we like to utilize a lot here is a lot of petting. So anytime she oh, comes to you, she loves the petting, she loves the attention. So we do sad. utilize that as a form of reinforcer. So if she comes up to you and she thinks that, uh, that she's doing something wrong, all right, we would actually not show her that petting. So we always want to give her that attention. We want to let her know that she's doing really good. She's right, Sleepy? Oh, yeah. Goodness, so you guys are going to help me with a physical exam to make sure that she's in good health. This is something that we uh, take place every day with all of our animals to make sure that they're in not only good health, but they are in a good humor and ready to have some fun throughout the super cute. Let's go, Sunny. She's, she's working on it. Good girl. <laughs> Such graceful. So when I say every day we check our animals out, we do literally check them out top to bottom to make sure they're in good health. You're going to help me start off. And the first thing we're going to check, we're going to do it one by one, Sunshine, Target, is we are going to check her mouth to make sure that she doesn't have any mouth issues. So what I would like you to do is take your finger and just drag it along her mouth right there. Check out her teeth, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, oh touch them. Gosh. You'll see they're very black. Don't be shy, you can touch all of them. <laughs> all right, you'll see they're very black. It's completely natural for their teeth to be black. All right, they do not have the enamel like we have in our teeth. Yeah. So we like to say the blacker the teeth are, the more healthy they are. Oh. So as you can see, she's got very healthy teeth. Open. Yes, for sure. What's the difference between a seal and a sea lion? Seals and sea lions are very commonly confused. All right, the easiest way to tell a seal and a sea lion apart is first, you gotta look for their cute little ears. All right, sea lions have cute little ears, which you'll notice right here on top. All right, is their external ear flaps. We're talking about these cute little ear Aww. flaps you see right here. If you were to see a seal, all right, they would not have those cute little ear flaps, do they? No, do they oh. have them? <laughs> no, they don't have them. No, they don't. Only sea lions do, right? Yeah. All right, another way to tell them is how they walk. Check it out. When sea lions walk around, they walk yeah. around on all four flippers. Good girl. All right, these guys have functional hip bones, which allows them to walk on all four flippers. Seals cannot do that. Seals have a fused hip bone. All right, so if you were to ever see a seal yeah. on land, you'd see them down on their bellies. And when seals walk, they're sliding. Yeah, just oh like you goodness. see right there. Come on, guys. Give her a round of so applause cute. for her seal impersonation. Yeah. <laughs> Good girl. Go ahead. Cool yourself off. So I'm going for a quick dip. Thank you so much for having us. This was awesome. What an amazing experience. Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad to have you guys be able to come out and meet Sunshine. And thank you guys for helping us fund our Blue Project. <laughs> That's her form of saying thank you. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Sunshine definitely made her way into our hearts.